Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. The key doesn't fit. Okay, I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. There's gotta be an opening somewhere. Can you find a way in, Jack? You shouldn't stay out here. There's no way in over here. You okay? I just checked the news reports, and Monarch is being heralded as a hero. No. I'm not okay. Because if I had just refused to make that confession... Then you'd be dead. Somebody else would have done it. Doesn't make it easier. Yes, Amy? What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Should be released by now. Monarch convinced them the same thing they convinced everybody else. That what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from... From Jack. Yeah. Hey! I think I found a way in. video on the news helped with that. Jesus. They have no idea what happened. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. <clears throat> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? $12,000 moving bill. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... He's gone. Where'd he go? You own this place since... Shit. 1999? Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Will. Why didn't you tell me, Will? Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, no fine. wonder you are always Set coming up with crazy shit. Into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. We need to we keep need our to contact with him. It has now been three minutes. No sign I'll find of you on the counter. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, it turns out he just kind of sat inside the corner. in there working on it all right let's take a look around down here 
Nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. If it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. 2010. What was that? Wilder. I'm addressing you recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? Leave it there. I went back to get it. He said the countermeasure's gone? It's a disaster zone. The countermeasure it's not good. Gone. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Safe. Empty. Just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um, explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. Think. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing here? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This 
could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. Activate the corridor next. Okay, there's no way that thing should be exposed like that. There's a light blinking here. It might be what you're looking for. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine, and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a cronium research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. <sighs> Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, 
Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I want to win, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? 
Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> Treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. 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 I helped catch a traitor today. Traitor? Is that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't, uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Well, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so... You hang in here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right.
Thanks for the gun. Dr. Ramon? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios, even if I'm being honest. I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. You're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, oh, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks. Chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. No. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are, rules. are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your it. encouragement. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen, if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking 
is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think because somebody twisted my arm. Ah. Are we are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What? If I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. But, well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work, you know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. I am there. I guess, yeah, I love work. Holy oh, right shit! There. Shit! You oh, little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? Which is the reason I'm here. Is that gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Are you? You're a very kind person. It's right up here. can't do this. It's a special talent I have. I'm glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it?
lived in life for him. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of him. Life for It's Dr. Kim. The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched, like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, you remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? Well, we refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate I'll be here who was he he was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, 
Cronin Field Regulator? Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Sure. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. 
She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Good. There must be some way to open the door. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, we're gonna have to move faster to get through. Clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Now, something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Warn me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? I need to get across somehow. Must be a way across. You go. All right, that 
that's that. I don't know how we're going to explain the dry dock scene to the public. Hey, it was just our people there. We can spin it however we want. That's all of them. Time felt broken here. The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. The old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. Keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you. Not bad, Jack. 